Hello and welcome. You're watching The Buzz here at WCTV with me, your host, Queen Banda. In today's Buzz, WCTV visits a local clothing company here in Wareham. The company started in uh, 1972 and we sold uh, winemaking supplies. And that is the uh, reason for the name soft as a grape. People thought that was a colloquialism for being crazy. All the paintings in the building were at one time a t-shirt. The, the first shirts were sold to everybody, but, but during, the, uh, during the process, we started to sell flowered t-shirts. And those, the buyers for that were women who uh, wouldn't wear t-shirts at that time but wanted to wear a uh, printed shirt and it was more of a, um, a scoop neck or, or a shirt that wasn't exactly a t-shirt, a long sleeve shirt. Right now the business has changed from flowers and um, to, uh, to selling um, uh, Major League Baseball and other sports uh, teams on women's clothing. So we have a license for NFL, MLB, NHL, as well as NBA. And so this is an example of the catalog and all of the different designs that can actually be chosen. So any of these designs can be modified for the Islanders, in this case hockey, Bruins, Penguins. So we take all these designs, modify them and change them and then uh, print them, which we'll show you in a second. So. On this side of the building is where we have all of the blank inventory. So 90% of all the merchandise we sell is soft scrapes, our own brand. So we make it, design it, and it sits on these shelves over here. Right now, we're in between stocking the shelves of the 2017 line. So just to show you, so this is our soft scrape shirt that we made. Um, we've got a designer out of New York City that makes these and puts them all together. And these are the ones that will be embellished as well as other pieces from our lives. Every single thing we do has our socks with the great name on the back of the shirt. That happens to be Rob. How you doing? And Rob does many things here. One of the things Rob does is he runs the pad printer, in which will embellish. Product. And this particular shirt is, is, be, is sold by a company on the internet. Greg's next job will be the Cincinnati Reds, which Greg will explain right then, here. These are the three screens that I'll be using for those. Every color gets its own screen, so I'd have three screens. And, yeah. I have two white screens and a black screen here on the end. So right down here is where the shirt comes down to get cured. So the inks go on it and then it goes through the dryer at a certain temperature that actually cures the ink so that the inks don't come off in the wash and stay on forever. And so you'll start seeing a shirt come down in which Jeff takes all the shirts, puts them in the piles, makes sure all the printing's correct, 
make sure all the quantities are there, and he's the QC to make sure it turns out perfect. And how many times does the shirt have to go through here? One time. One time. And Joe, uh, you have a film there? Yes. So he, so we take one of the films that the art room does, and he puts it on a screen and measures it accurately so it goes properly on the press. And then he puts it in this box here, this light table, and they burn the screen. And there's a very bright light in there, and um, and that will they call it burning the screen. Wherever the light hits, it makes the screen hard, and wherever the black from the film makes it so uh, it's water soluble, and they can wash it off, and that's where the ink goes through. And the screens can be recycled, and, and they can take the chemicals off, and they recycle. Oh, okay. And they can reuse the same screen for different designs. Are you gonna you gonna wash that out? So right now he's going to wash out uh, wherever we burnt. Uh, the light table makes the rest of the film hard, and wherever he puts water, that will wash away, and that's where the ink can go through. So, let's see what happens. Like magic. So that, so that's what we'll, all the ink that will go on the press, and then all the ink will go through there. Now all the water and the chemicals that we use are recycled. So, so the chemicals are recycled and filtered, and then they uh, get stored in uh, in this large container, and it's picked up by a septic company so it doesn't get discharged into the water system so we this machine uh puts on the sequence on a piece of film and then uh, she'll take this when this is complete she'll take this and put it on uh, the heat press machine and it transfers the sequence onto the shirt so uh so this will take about a couple minutes to make that shirt and we're the finished one so here, this is a uh, embroidery machine, and we're putting uh, applique letters on a sweatshirt. And uh, Nicole puts; uh, she has to put one at a time. Okay. Leave that on for a second. This is the digital printer, and now we, this works like a big printing, a big printer that you would use for your computer, and it prints right on the shirt. So we can do one shirt at a time,
We, we, we've been here in uh, this building since uh, 2001, I believe, 2001. Uh, the town was uh, very instrumental in helping us come here and uh, work with us, uh, getting all the proper permits and working with us. And uh, we've worked with the high school and getting employees and, uh, and having interns work for us over the years. So we're ha proud to be in Wareham and it's uh, been a good, good situation for us. We are, we are uh, in an uh, industry that has very large competitors like Nike and uh, VF Knitwear and our customers are the biggest companies in the, in the, in the, in the country. Uh, they're baseball teams, the Boston Red Sox, uh, Cleveland Indians, and uh, almost all the major league teams and uh, football teams and along with major retailers. And um, they have very high standards and uh, so we're always challenged to, uh, to uh, do a professional job. We're, we're constantly trying to figure out how to become more efficient as a company and how to produce goods faster so that the customers get them quicker. One of the things we, don't, we, we haven't discussed is one of the, the most exciting times for us is when we do hot market. And hot market is during the World Series, during the Stanley Cup, is where we will have a group of people come in here at midnight as soon as the game is over and we start producing shirts. The most amount of shirts we've ever produced in one sitting, Alan, was how many shirts? Uh, 13,000. And we have the trophy there. <laughs> the trophy proves that we were able to produce 13,000 shirts for the Boston Bruins in 2011, I think, when they won the Stanley Cup. Is it a challenge for the higher, uh, being local? Sure, because we're in a global economy and uh, people from all over the world uh, have uh, different skill sets and they different and different um, wage scales. And uh, so, you know, it's always a challenge because you're competing uh, globally. So uh, the most item that we sell right now is a uh, most popular item what we sell right now in, in the baseball part would be a, uh, a woman's scoop neck or V-neck, a woman's V-neck. Uh, made out of a very fine fabric, which is called multi-count, which is a blended fabric. But what is good today doesn't mean it will be good tomorrow. Well, so how do you base to know what's in, what's not? We have a crystal ball. <laughs> <laughs> and, and we said, should we buy it? <laughs> uh, I think Raymond can answer that because he... He gets the opportunity to travel throughout the country and to talk to uh, various buyers. So the focus group that we use is ourselves and our wives and our family to determine what that product line will look like. So what's the direction of the company? Where, where, where are we heading? Uh, we are <laughs> continuing to head down the same path, which was, keep in mind, we have the retail stores, we have a wholesale division, which consists of a resort. We sell the same product to wholesale to other customers that have resort stores. So everything we put on our own retail stores, we go and sell that same product to other people that would may have stores maybe in North Carolina or South Carolina or Florida, et cetera. So we have our retail stores, our wholesale line, we have our licensing line. And last but not least, we have a whole line of um, custom business. We're proud that, we are, uh, that we're a local company and uh, you know, work within the community. And, uh, you know, we're proud that the quality and the, uh, the fashion sense and the, the graphics uh, are, uh, are, are very current in the marketplace. I sure have learned a lot about Soft as a Grape clothing company. I hope you did too. Thank you so much for watching The Buzz here at WCTV with me, your host, Queen Banda. Have a lovely day. Mm -hmm.